everybody! Welcome to Covenant Kids TV. We are going to learn another Bible story today, but first we're going to stand up together and we're going to worship our God. Ready? Let's go!
anxious about anything But in every situation give thanksgiving Don't be anxious about anything But in every situation give thanksgiving No oh. Miss Michelle here. Do you remember how a couple of weeks ago we talked about Paul and how he got arrested? And then after he was tied up and taken away, he got on a boat with other prisoners and then things got even worse. The boat got lost at sea in a terrible storm and he had to go two weeks without food and then the boat crashed and he had to swim to shore. You remember all those stories? When he got to dry land, he was still a prisoner. That's rough, isn't it, guys? Paul did not have an easy life. But we know one thing about Paul. He kept on telling people about Jesus anyway. Even when Paul was in prison again after the shipwreck, he wrote a letter to people in the church, and you won't believe what he said to them. You will probably think that he would say something like, oh, my life is so hard. I'm." tired of this. Nothing is going right. I just want to give up. I do not like being in jail. I have to sleep on the ground. I miss my bed and my family. You guys are so lucky because you're not in jail like me. When I was hanging on to that broken wood from the shipwreck floating along, I got a real bad splinter and now my finger hurts when I move it like this. But no, that's not actually what he said at all. Surprisingly, Paul said something more like this. He said, I want you to know that even though people try to stop me, everything that has happened to me has actually helped me tell more people about the good news about Jesus. And that's all that matters. Because I'm in jail, now the guards here know about God's love. Plus. Other people have been sharing the good news and they have been doing it without fear. They've been being brave because they have seen what has happened to me and that I got through it. God has given me the Holy Spirit to help me. To me, that is all that matters, is sharing the good news with everyone I meet. I want everyone to know about Jesus. The only thing that really matters in my life is Jesus. And even if I die, that will be okay, because then I can go to heaven to be with Jesus. Guys, even today, we can learn so much from what Paul said in the Bible. Sometimes our lives might be hard too. And maybe we've never been in a shipwreck or been put in jail, but we might have friends who say mean things to us, or maybe things might be hard for us at home, sometimes with our families. And we definitely are not gonna always get everything that we want. But we can remember through hard times that the only thing that really matters is Jesus. And when bad things happen, God often uses those things to help even more people know about His love. You know, this has happened to me lots of times in my life. Um, for example, one time when I was younger, I had a friend that was a really good friend to me, and he told me that he didn't want to be my friend anymore. It hurt, and I was really sad for a while, but God comforted me. And then it was just maybe like a year later, the same thing happened to a good friend of mine. And I was able to tell her, this is a bad thing, but if you trust in God, He will help you. He will comfort you, just like He did for me. So a bad thing happened to me, but God helps me to use that bad thing to help someone else. So 
So he took something bad and made it good. All right, kids, it's time for our memory verse. I'm going to say it first, and then I'm going to give you a chance to repeat it after me. It goes like this. Our troubles are small. They last only for a short time. But they are earning us a glory that will last forever. It is greater than all our troubles. That's 2 Corinthians 4, 17. Okay, guys, now I'm going to say some of it, and I want you to repeat it after me. Are you ready? Okay. 2 Corinthians 4, 17. Our troubles are small. They only last for a short time. But they are earning us a glory that is forever. It is greater than all our troubles. Great job, guys. We remember scripture so that we can keep God's word in our heart. So keep memorizing. All right, guys. Well, as you go on this week, I hope that you will remember to be grateful for everything that you have and that we would be able to have joy even when everything's not going exactly the way we want it to. You've watched, you've listened, and you've learned. Now go change your world.